Are premium bonds a good investment or not? Let's find out. So I invested £32,500 a year ago and we're going to find out how much we made and how they compare and whether it's worth investing in premium bonds or not. So first let's log in and see how much I've won to date. So now we're logged into the national saving site and we're looking at the transi transaction history. This is when I first bought the bonds in November 2019, a year ago. I actually bought up to the end of November 18,000 pounds of bonds and I bought some more during December which brought the total to 32,500 pounds. So really we're looking at uh, how many prizes I won over the past 11 months when you consider the split. Plus you have to, there's a one month delay before you entered into a draw. So it's an 11 month exercise which I will pro rot to work out. So I'm, what I'm, be my prize winnings? Well initially I won nothing for January, February and March. Uh, the first prize coming in April. So you can see I was pretty disappointed. Come May I get a couple of wins. That, uh, again at the bottom end minimum £25 win. So then we come to the next series. June, two twenty-five pound wins. Nothing in July, August, one twenty-five pound win. So basically a trickle. Second September, uh, September at fifty pound, two twenty-five. So no big wins at all by now. Since uh, October, again just one twenty-five. November, just two twenty-five pound wins. No big prize. It pretty disappointed, but it's, you know, pretty poor. I was expecting you know, to get at least uh, one thousand pound wins at some point. So what about my last draw for December? What did I get? I get just twenty five pounds. So altogether, let's do the maths. How much have I won, and how much? Would I have earned an interest? Because when I bought the bonds, the interest rate was 1.4%. So let's do that maths now in Excel. So £32,500 total invested. And the total amount won is £325. Okay, so that gives you uh, an interest rate of one percent but it's over 11 months so divided by 11 times 12 gives me an effective interest annual interest rate of 1.1 percent so how much that is how much i've earned from the premium bonds without so it's basically poor yeah so the effective interest rate and now and at 1.4 percent that we're offering, I would have made. So, I'm, if I had average luck, then I would have made 1.4% uh, pro uh, divided by 12 times 11. So, 417 pounds is how much I should have won on average luck. Said I won just 325 pounds. So, I had bad luck. So, premium bonds for me were bad luck. What about if I bought a fixed rate bond? Well, uh, the fixed rate at the time was 1.6%. So that would have made uh, divided by 12 times 11 be worth 476 pounds now. So I'm short on the premium bonds by 92 pounds. And I'm short on the fixed rate bond by 150 pounds that's a significant amount so our oh, premium bonds a good investment for me for 2020 they have not been a good investment i received a return of just 1.1 percent when i could have got 1.6 percent fixed for one year and the average look is for 1.4 percent return but is it worth it well you got the chance you got the chance of winning big for which I paid uh, 
92 pounds so I've basically paid them 92 pounds for the chance to win a big prize that's how much I paid and how much I gave up in terms of interest is 151 pounds so putting in a fixed rate account I would have made 151 pounds more without any chance of winning big however there is some bad news for 2021 because premium bonds have cut the interest rate from 1.4 percent to 1 percent as of december 2020 so going forward it's going to become even harder to win a prize so what's that mean one percent uh, basically now the annual return has dropped to 325 pound which is what I made <laughs> so now at the same rate so 1.1 percent divided by 1.6 is not is 68 percent time point six no, what am I doing so the interest rate has dropped by 1% divided by 1.4 71% so if I had the same luck as last year I'm only going to make 230 pounds 232 pounds divided by divided by 12 11 times 12 gives me an interest rate of 0.78% so for everyone anyone thinking of investing in premium bonds for 2021 your effective return could be as low as 0.7% if you have similar look to me so what am I going to do the problem is there's nowhere else to invest all the other savings accounts are garbage um, shares yeah you should be invested in the shares well I am heavily invested in it AI stocks as you can imagine as this list illustrates you know March 2020 was the buying opportunity for maybe not the decade but for a good number of years and I piled a lot of money into stocks if I hadn't invested in premium bonds all this money would have gone into AI stocks as well anyway I'll we'll continue this exercise for another year I've got uh, what was my current balance, premium bond balance is, is 32,825. We'll see how much return that gives me over the next year if I get lucky and win a big prize or not. Uh, if, I'm, I'm, if I need the money, I'll just pile it into AI stocks. If the opportunity presents itself, which it, again, which I doubt. But maybe you get some, you know, if there's a crash. If there's a crash, I'm going to pile tons of money into AI stocks again, as I did in March, as I told my patrons to do. So another reason why you should be a patron, if you followed my advice, you would have doubled your money, literally, more than doubled on some stocks. You know, Amazon more than doubled. AMD more than doubled. A lot of stocks more than doubled. NVIDIA. TSM, oh that wasn't on the list, was it? I think it was. TSMC. Yeah. Anyway, do subscribe for more financial, personal finance videos on how to save money, make money, and so on. From someone who's been doing it for a long time.